why there's not more support for that gun in the truck. Well, it's got an A-frame on it, but... but why is it, it, like, dragging its ass? Yeah, but I mean, it's... The A-frame is just sitting on the pickup box. Yep. And there's no counterweight under either. And I have to believe that, uh... They must have modeled it off something they have pictures no, of. No, I've got tons of pictures. None of them are close enough to see how it's attached or any part of it's attached to the body. If there's spot welds, that's the problem. All the YouTube videos and all the photographs are far away, probably because yeah, right. the guy doesn't want to get close and get shot. But um, No, I, I just figured when I first looked at it that there would be something between the bottom of the gun and the pickup box. Floor. What would think? But... Uh, this is Ming's kit. It's actually a nice little build. Um, like I said, I started it on, we showed up at Avon on Saturday, so I started it on Tuesday or, yeah, Monday or Tuesday, and it's basically done. It needs four tires. You know, of course, I gotta paint it. Yeah. But uh, it went together really, really well. Now, Ming made and it's still crooked, which is why I can't stand it. But, <laughs> you know, jalopy bad guys doing welding or whatever. So you see that it's crooked. And that's the way it's supposed to look, to not be perfect like, you know, some aerospace engineer designed the, the welding for it. But again, when I started looking, I could have swore I had seen pictures previously of the wheels attached to these when they were in the back of the pickups. And that's how I built it. And then, of course, I get home and look at my four reference books and not a single no one. Wheels, no wheels. No wheels. Yep. The only ones they left the wheels on were like the one and a half tons and above. And so I'll have to end up taking those arms off, no big deal. Uh, and of course, for some reason, I decided to put the claws on. Wasn't paying enough attention, the claws aren't on when they put them in the truck because they use the mounting areas to attach it to the A-frames, either with welds or bolts. Again, I've got, I've watched, I've only watched five or six videos of these things being used in conflict when you can pull them up. And the camera guy never really gets because he's not a modeler. He doesn't get close enough to show details on it. They just show the guy sitting going, and firing, the, and firing yeah. the machine gun. Um, it's got two decals. Both are for the dashes inside. Uh, the doors can be open or closed. The tailgate does come down. I, of course, glued mine up. Um, clear lenses for all the lights, which is neat. The mirrors are not. They're... They didn't even provide a decal, so you got to silver the mirrors. Yeah, none of it's glued on because I got to spray paint. Yeah, because instead of making the frame out of all the black parts, no, no, we're going to throw in two tan parts. Oh, there's two tan parts for the black part. Well, I missed shock, so yeah. So you got to paint the whole frame now instead of just like leaving it black yeah. or whatever. Well, the shocks would be a different well, color. I guess it all depends on where it's yeah. used. It could be covered in mud on the bottom. But yeah, undercoating black. Oh, you didn't black. put the dash in or anything? No, Seats. not until I can paint it. It's loose. It's yeah. I mean the. Oh, it comes apart. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Dash get attached there. Got the gear shifts. Um, seats are already done. They needed to be filler puttied a little bit. The same with the joint here. That's why I got the putty. The the locating pins were left in all places, so I had to put putty in them to get them sanded down. Um, this isn't going to be noticeable as far as I can tell, so I wasn't worried about that. The two notches on each side here and down here, they'll be covered by the cab when it's attached. Again, neat little kit and build quick. They make three different versions of this, all pretty much probably follow the same line. Uh, their latest one... Is that the latest one? One of them, I think they have like an Australian version that has a snorkel coming out over here. Um, oh, they only got V6 in it? Or a so. straight six? Yeah, they don't show that's that's the engine. Uh, and again, it was a quick, easy build. Now it'll just sit there until I get some of my other things on my desk cleared away before I start worrying about painting it. The big thing is I got to look at some of these photos and try to see how badly you can dent this without, you know, making it unreal. I didn't realize that, but it actually does have two filler caps. I wasn't sure because you got a tank here and then, sorry, the tank's here. The other tank's there, and I was wondering if they filled up both, but no, it's got two filler caps, so you fill two tanks. I don't know if they can cross-feed or not, but I was... No, probably not. And like I said, it is. It's a neat little kit. Now, Ming makes a three different kit version of this. 
they make the they basically this one, and then they do a ZU-14-4, uh, which is basically looking like this with four, four guns instead of two. And they do a 14-2, which is, again, just like this one, except it's got shorter gun barrels. And the barrels have the shielding on them, so they've got the oblong uh, cooling vents on them. And like I said, it is it is a neat little kit. Um, I say this now, as far as I've gotten, it's been a neat little kit. Uh, we'll know more whenever it is I get to actually start finishing it. It's got a couple of pieces of photo etch on there. Huh? Yep. Uh, yeah. Actually, you got a handle or some yeah, kind of handle, device yeah. here. You got the shield cover there. But all of them are easy, straight and, bent. And this, whatever that is. Yeah, and then the arm. that You didn't even have to do anything with that. Um, the other two pieces of photo etch are the mud flaps for the rear tires, and I just haven't put them on yet. Because it's going to make it hang down. I wasn't sure how well it would transport. So, not well. Well, yeah, not in an airplane. <laughs> well, it transported you know, it well it. once. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. Time. Like I said, I, I, this was all assembled. I didn't have to fix anything when I got off the airplane. But again, I hand carried the box on. So, and I'm surprised it. didn't stop him from having a weapon in his. Bed. Well, <laughs> let me tell you about TSA and. Thank you.